Hello everybody, today we are here with a video I didn't expect to be making so soon. We have finally had our Great One Red Deer grind come to an end with 650 kills since the last uh, map reset that EW did with the previous update, along with around 2500 kills before the update happened. But uh, considering they did a complete rework of Tiabaroa, I'm probably just going to count the 650 kills that happened after the update. So I would say that this grind only lasted 650 kills with 10 diamonds and 5 rares. Honestly, that is a pretty impressive grind for it being as short as it is. And I am incredibly excited to finally be able to show you guys another Red Deer great one. But first, we're going to go through all the moments that led up to that over the last couple days because there was quite a few cool trophies and anything that has already been in a video will be coming up very shortly. But before we get into it, let me know down in the comments if you guys expected me to get a Red Deer Great One first or if you were expecting me to get a Black Bear Great One first. Since we have been doing these grinds side by side, let me know what you guys expected and let me know if you guys are excited that it is a Red Deer. But anyway, let's get into all of the moments that led up to this amazing spotting of this Great One Red Deer. So I had just taken down some Red Deer over here and came over to claim them and, well, we managed to get ourselves something pretty cool on the opposite side of the lake and once we claim this guy we will take a quick look at it but it's one of the nicer looking level 7 stags that I've seen in a while and there's one a very apparent reason for that and well that is the fact that he is hiding he's hiding uh what one second oh that would explain it it's past the end of his drink time well, this is going to be a little bit of a problem. I guess we could chase him down. Might be kind of cool to take him in the thick trees, but this is definitely not as I intended this to go. There we go. After a quick time reset, we finally have him back at his zone, and you guys can see how beautiful this level 7 is. One of the nicer looking level 7 rares we have found on the Great One grind it always feels really nice to see a level 7 rare considering the level 7 racks are regarded as some of the best in all of Call of the Wild. So let's go ahead and take a shot on this guy. Hopefully we will manage to hit the vitals and get full score on him because he is absolutely beautiful. And that looked to be a pretty solid hit. Let's just get a couple into some others as well. Gotta make sure we maximize our time here on Tiawaroa as this grind has been going much better than the bear one. Well, that guy was not here before I reset the time. So that makes this a whole lot more interesting. We now have a legendary to take out as well. You know, this lake has been one of those lakes that has consistently gave us multiple good trophies at once. You guys saw us get multiple diamonds from this lake and now we've got a diamond and a rare. And then a few days ago on live stream, we ended up getting two level nines at the upper Pukimaro Lake. Overall, this has by far been the most insane Red Deer grind I think I've ever done. Way better than pre-update Tiabaroa, that's for sure. This has just been a whole new level of insanity. But this is one of the nicest piebalds we have ever killed for the Red Deer. I gotta say, I like this rack combination, though it is not a perfectly even one. It looks really, really good, and 193 is definitely a good scoring level 7. What a beautiful red deer. Definitely the best one of this current grind that we've been on. Definitely the best rare that we've got since the update, by far. Absolutely beautiful looking, and though it is kind of uneven, this definitely works. This is definitely one of those uneven combinations that actually makes somewhat sense and looks decently good. I'm okay with that one. That's definitely a nice one to get. Now, let's go take down that legendary since he just decided to show up out of nowhere after that time reset. So, he's honestly in a pretty decent spot at roughly 300 meters away. I think we can probably make this shot right here. Let's just hope that he's not behind a tree or anything weird like that. And it actually looks like he is perfectly out in the open. And that should be a solid hit on him as well. Let's uh, get one into that guy too. And I was hoping we could get one into the 7 as well, but that's definitely not going to happen. Oh, well, asking you will receive. It looks like we're going to get to take this guy out after all as he runs towards us. So, you know, that worked out about as perfect as it could have. 
that uh, worked out pretty well. And there he is, a relatively wide Big Rack Red Deer. Could this be another 270? I don't think it will be. This looks like a mid to high 260s, so I'm going to assume it's around there. And yeah, 266. Max weight, though. So we recently had a diamond on livestream, like I mentioned. We had two legendaries at the same lake, and one of them was less than a kg off of max weight. Now we got an actual max weight to spawn. I feel like this great one is 100% going to come before the black bear does. I got a feeling that we're going to get a great one red deer long before we do the great one black bear. And it's a really looking like that at this point. There we go guys, first rare of the day. A nice, beautiful level 6 piebald. Love to see it. Let's uh, change scopes real quick. That is awesome. Whoa, don't start running now. There we go. Got him down. That's awesome. There it is. A beautiful level 6 piebald. And we just got a call from a deer over there, so let's go ahead and pick this up before we crash. Piebald 17380. Beautiful. That's awesome. Love to see it. Grind I believe that is rare number 5 of the red deer grind. I might be wrong. It's, it might be four, but I think it's number five. Had quite a few rares so far. Quite a few rares and diamonds already. So in front of us is what is most likely diamond number nine of the grind. Let's go ahead and line up on this thing. This guy is looking pretty solid. So I had shot a few red deer. I fast traveled over here and I thought everything was pretty much done for this zone. But considering there's usually a few that are too close to render in, I ran back that way for a little bit and sure enough two more red deer popped into render and one of them was this giant legendary. This guy is a guaranteed diamond so provided we hit this shot he should make it. And we're gonna wait for him to stop and then take the shot. Oh that, that's okay that's a little bit of a, a strange little maneuver there glad I didn't take the shot because that definitely could have ended very poorly. However that does seem to be a solid hit right there. And that is diamond number nine of the grind. And honestly, considering that at the time of taking this guy down, we've only killed roughly 500 red deer. Uh, the fact that we have managed to get uh, nine diamonds, three trolls, and five rares is pretty crazy. I'm happy with it though. I mean, that's a, a good sign for us. Hopefully we'll get a great one sooner than later. So as we go to collect him, let's real quickly grab up a couple of these other stags on our way. Since we obviously want to make the best out of our time here on Ti Awaroa, I've been managing to kill quite a large amount of red deer pretty much every single run recently. And we've had some pretty crazy moments on stream as well. At one point we managed to get like 30 red deer before leaving this lake right here. Because by the time we claimed them all, the respawns were already showing up. It was kind of insane to watch happen. And well, that's probably already been uploaded on the channel as a short at this point, but it was definitely a crazy thing to see. And, and now later that day, we've got ourselves a beautiful level 9. Uh, to be honest, if I had done one more run for Red Deer on stream, I probably would have taken this guy alive. But unfortunately, I stopped to grind some bear. And now we've got this absolute monster of a stag in front of us right now. This looks like it could be a 270 again. It's a 266.70. So it's definitely a large stag. Not quite as big as that massive 271 that we got the other day though. That is by far the best red deer I've ever killed. I don't think we'll ever beat a 271 diamond. But this guy is definitely a large one nonetheless. And a pretty good looking stag. Well, we now have diamond number 10 in front of us, or so I think. I imagine this guy will end up making it. It seems to be the larger of the two racks that look similar. Uh, we also have a nice 7 and another nice 7 next to him, so we'll definitely try to get those as well. I'm trying a strategy that I saw in the comment section of one of my recent Red Deer videos, a saying to shoot everything that isn't a 4 or below, so... We're going to shoot everything but the forest for a little while and see what we can get and well this is the first good thing that has shown up from it and well from the look of it this actually might be the smaller rack now that I'm getting a uh, different angle of him. It very well could be but I think regardless we should be able to get a shot into him right there and one into that level 7 as well. Hopefully this guy will end up making it. Just one more to drop him on the ground and uh, that's how we do it. 
You know, it is absolutely crazy to think that we've already hit double digit diamonds, had three trolls and five rares, and we're only roughly 600 kills into this grind. Now, given I'm not keeping a 100% accurate count, it should be roughly around 600 kills because I have been managing to take down roughly 50 to 60 red deer per hour, possibly even more on some occasions. So I'd say we're around that 600 mark now with our 10th diamond possibly being this guy. And the more I look at him, this might be the big rack. It's so hard to tell. It's definitely not. This is the smaller rack, but it is a diamond. So that will be diamond number 10 of the grind at 233.99 kgs. 253.80 on the score. Another beautiful large male down. Well, unfortunately, with this method of attempting to leave all of the four and below, it has uh, created a large amount of fours at this zone as we kind of go through the area. Uh, some of them have already spooked off, but I think we've got a total of like, yeah, there's, there's just a ton of fours here now. So that's one side effect of using this method from what I've been able to tell is, well, now pretty much everything in this zone is something that we really can't shoot besides uh, one level seven that I just blasted right before this uh, clip began. But it's uh, unfortunate to see that we're getting less and less big males at this lake as this was one of my favorites, but it does look like there is a male over there. So it's not a complete bust. It looks like we're still getting some, just uh, not in these herds over here. So now that we are roughly 600 kills into this grind and into the double digits of diamonds with five rares, I'm kind of wondering where my melanistics are. I mean, we've seen how long I've gone without a melanistic before the update, and well, it seems like it is no different during this update. I'm still going melanistic list, which is really unfortunate considering it is my favorite fur type. Hopefully we can manage to bag one of those during this grind because that would be much appreciated for sure, but as of now, it's uh, really not looking like we will get one. Well, I think I found where all of the big males are. They seem to be at the lower Pukimaro Lake, as it was the upper Pukimaro that we just looked at where there really wasn't much going on. But then we go down here and there is actually a pretty good amount of solid stags. I'm liking what I'm seeing. It's uh, definitely nice to see some decent looking deer considering the last lake was pretty much void of large males but it seems like we have at least six or seven here and of course they will stand no chance against the 300 magnum as it just absolutely flattens them i really do recommend using the 300 for just the regular size red deer whenever you're on these grinds because it greatly speeds up the kill time on a lot of these guys and that will save you tons of time in the long run and on a grind like this, that is one of the most valuable things that you could possibly uh, try to manage, and that is your time. You want to make sure you're taking down as many as quickly as you possibly can. Oh, oh no! There he is! Oh my gosh! Yes! Let's go! Oh my gosh! Just over 600 kills into this grind. There he is! And I think with that estimate, it's the small wreck. This is exactly what I've been looking for. Oh my gosh. We're literally two runs after diamond number 10. And there he is. Our second ever Red Deer Great One. Roughly 650 kills since the reset. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that I'm... I can't believe I'm actually going to be able to get the small wreck that I've been looking for. We went over 2,500 kills pre-update without getting a Great One Red Deer. And this is insane. So it's been roughly the same amount of kills since our last one as well. We can, uh, sorry, I can't. <laughs> Between um, this update and last update, I think we're 3,100 kills, which is just 12 more than what it took to get our first one. Are you kidding me? Well, I've committed to using the 6.5 with the Red Raptor. So we're gonna go grab that and attempt to get close. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he's here. I honestly can't believe that we ended up getting uh, the Red Deer Great One to show up before the Black Bear, considering we've uh, killed 2,250 Black Bear at this point with nothing. I, I didn't think that we would get the Red Deer first. I was hoping we would, though. And I had a good feeling about this grind because we've had so many diamonds and rares ever since we started it back up with this brand new update. And... Well, of course, he would be the one that would show up 
and I could not be happier. That is the rack that I was hoping for, and we're going to get to take him down with the 6.5 and the Red Raptor, which is the combination that I wanted to be able to use on him. This is just absolutely insane. And of course, it would be at the Upper Pukimaro Lake. If I remember, I'll real quickly toss in a brief clip of what we were seeing here on livestream earlier today. We found probably 30 different red deer here in one run. We were able to kill like 20 of them and then I'd turn around and there would be more that have respawned and already got here. It was insane. And I had a feeling that this would be the place that would produce him. This still doesn't feel real to be finally looking at the, the great one red deer rack that I have been grinding so hard to try and get. Since it was first released, we have killed roughly 6,200 red deer between grind number one and grind number two. And I never thought I would lay eyes on this guy. I thought for sure whenever we got another great one red deer, it would be the exact same rack that we already had. But we got lucky enough to actually get the one that I've been wanting. This is the perfect case scenario. And Tiaboro, with it being in the day now, we can actually get a good look at this guy. And because of that, I want to get close and get a few pictures of him because this is... Not an opportunity that I've been able to have very often. Red Deer have not been kind to me when it comes to great ones. Definitely not as kind as the Whitetail. So I'm going to make sure that we savor this moment and try to get as many pictures as we can. Because this is something you don't get to see too often. I honestly just can't believe that once again I am stocking up on a great one Red Deer. We took the first one out with the bow. This should be a little bit easier of a kill considering we're using the 6.5. I'm kind of hoping he'll move away from the tent a bit. I want to get some good pictures of him, but the tent kind of gets in the way. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely incredible to be looking at him this close. Just the beauty of these Great One Red Deer is... It's unmatched, honestly. It really is unmatched. I feel like they are the most stunning Great One in the game. Let's attempt to get a few pictures if we can. Uh, I guess Hunter thinks that he's the Great One. We're now 46 meters away. This is, I think, the closest I've ever been to a Great One Red Deer. I'm pretty sure that we took the one with the bow from a little bit further than this. So this is definitely the closest I've ever been to a Great One Red Deer. And I don't actually even know if there's a place that we can hide here. I want to get more pictures, but I don't want him to spook off either. And honestly, he's giving us a perfect shot right now. I feel like we have to take this shot. I'm just going to real quickly get one more picture. And then we are going to go ahead and take him down. At 41 meters away, he doesn't seem to be noticing us. So I think we can safely make this shot right here. And there he goes. Great one red deer number two is going down. And that looks like a vital hit. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I, we're going to have to find a place to put this guy in the lodge. I don't even know where we're going to put him. But he needs to be one of the focal points of the lodge. Let's get up there and claim him. I don't want to risk any crashes because Tiawaro has been crashing like crazy recently. The last thing I would want is to lose this thing to a crash. So we're just going to run right up there and claim him as quick as we can. Oh my gosh, he's just so beautiful. The way that he looks in the grass is just insane. Absolutely love the way these things look. Alright, let's claim him before something bad happens. Great one at 254.80. Oh my gosh. Tax that thing immediately. And this is indeed the small rack, just as I thought it was. Oh my gosh. That is incredible. We got great one red deer. Number two. Look at how beautiful this guy is. Absolute stud of a red deer. My gosh. That is awesome. Let's look at the score for him. Uh, it does look like we got pretty even scores on both sides. Which I kind of would have expected, but that is so awesome. <laughs> that is so awesome. We finally got him. Great one, Red Deer number two. Well, I, I can't wait any longer. Let's get into the lodge and put this guy up somewhere. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to put him in here, but he's definitely got to go like in this area with the other great ones. The question is, where are we going to put him? I honestly don't even know where to begin to look. You know, honestly, part of me wants to just move a few things around and get him up front with one of the other ones. And I, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to move this guy up front 
and then put the new one next to it and then we'll have our white tail mounts right here in the middle I think that's the way to go and here we go finally placing our second great one red deer at the front of our lodge with the first one this is absolutely incredible finally we have one of each rack let me know if we should grind for another one because this was actually a pretty quick grind only lasting 650 kills over the course of three days and getting us 10 diamonds five rares three trolls and one great one so let me know if we should just continue grinding the red deer we got this really fast so i kind of feel like we should go for another one it almost feels like we could probably do another grind and get another one without it really being too much different than if we hadn't got this. But let me know down in the comments and also let me know what else we should do with the lodge. I will uh, be definitely reading through all of the comments and seeing what you guys want me to do. We're going to put the white tail in the middle, but then I don't know where to put the bear mount. So let me know what you guys think. But thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you watching this video and getting to share these amazing experiences with me. It really does mean the world to me that you guys love the channel and come back and watch all the videos and the streams. Without you guys, the channel would be nothing, and I really do appreciate each and every one of you. With that being said, thank you all for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below, like I said, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!